Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Happy 2024, which feels a bit late. but It does, right? Happy... I was, I'm was. i in an hour with the thumbnail. <laughs> Happy New Year, Mikey. Uh, <laughs> Happy Merry New Christmas. Year. Happy Halloween. Uh, We're doing Canopy New your Year. Easter? It's, it's, it's a yeah. new thing. Canopy New Year. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yes, we're both alive, um, both well. Uh, we well, wanted... both live. <laughs> yes. Um, so we want to go through... I've, I've actually got a more solid agenda than we normally oh, have. Oh, straight today. to it this time. All right, yeah. fine. Yeah, but preamble. Professional, even. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Let's just pretend we said hi, everybody. Hi, people. So, yeah, we've got a bit of an agenda that we'd like to stick to this evening. Obviously, ask questions, we'll answer them anyway. Um, so we want to go through... Jan? himself um then we're going to go through what's happening course wise and content wise and then we'll talk a little bit about what we've been playing recently um which actually there's quite a bit of learnings from as well as we're always so, doing uh, thank you for joining us and what no. <laughs> <laughs> <Good day. laughs> all right so i guess i should start go on then so how right. are you yet um okay i better than it was a few months ago i am not what i would call recovered yet so i'm, I'm still unwell um it's 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 kind of that weird thing to talk about because I'm quite happy to talk very openly about what's going on, but I'm also aware there's like TMI. There's a point where just talking about what's going on with my health is going to just be like, hey, everybody, take on a bunch of my problems. Um, and that's not really what I'm interested in doing. I mean, ultimately, we deal with game dev, not like psychology and stuff, but it is important because uh, mental health is a real thing, especially yeah. in, the, in the world as it is at the moment. Uh, and I, I should point out that what's going on with me is a mental health issue. Um, and it's serious. And I encourage you, if you have any issues like that, you know, get help and all the rest of it, which I'm doing. Um, but it also means that I have what is called an invisible disability. You can't tell by looking at me that anything is wrong. So if it seems like, you know, he should have been really making content all this time. I feel like I should have been too, but physically I wasn't able to. So mm -hmm. I'm slowly getting back into that position. And Mikey and I have a plan to get that into a more regular thing, which is uh, we're going to start with one day a week and then increase as, as things improve. Um, Mikey's going to let me use his office as opposed to mine. Now, that might not sound like a big deal, um, but the key thing is when you're working from home, it's really hard to separate work from not work. And if you get yourself in a situation where you feel like you can't start working, a change of venue really helps with that. So we're gonna give that a shot, um, starting, I yeah. believe, this week. There's, a, this week there's a very interesting, um, some people can literally sit down at a table that's facing a window, and then hmm. they move around to the other side of the table when they're doing a different type of task. And even though that's logically, that sounds like what you're in the same room, but you've actually changed your location, what you're looking I at. Mean, it feeling. doesn't help that when I moved back to the UK, I moved to a small rural town and from there to a smaller rural town yeah. and from there from a slightly larger one. I'm a city boy. I'm not used to this kind of isolation. Mikey's not too far away but it's still a 20 minute drive and he has kids and all the rest of it. So we don't see each other physically that often. So it's really helpful to find ways to, to get out of the room and, you know, do things like that. Yes. Uh, Roderick, we appreciate that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> We've got I lots of problems, but we're going to try and cap it to an hour. Today. I've got 99 <laughs> problems, but, um, I can't, I can't finish that. No, but the balloons aren't one. What? Red balloons? <laughs> but a witch isn't one. I have no problems with the witches. <laughs> Um, so it. yeah, TLDR. Uh, I've been bouncing from waiting list to waiting list to waiting list. Um, I don't want to get political about it, but it turns out fifteen years of of austerity on health service means that waiting lists get quite big. Um, but I am moving from waiting list to waiting list and slowly getting there. Yeah, and uh, as Jan was saying, we're we're trying our best to help each other and coming over. I haven't set his his desk up yet. Don't tell him that. Oh. Um, but yeah, Fine. I think a Wednesday is going to be nice to be set up and figuring out how it's going to work and yeah. sound checks and things like that. Yeah, um, and obviously working out how it will work because whilst I have a, a relatively large office to work in, which I'm incredibly grateful for, converted garage, um, we can't both record at the same time, so we'll have to we'll have to plan plan around unless that we can. Time. I mean, that's actually a possibility. Oh, that would Ooh. be an interesting course where we're both talking at the same time. <laughs> It's like buy one course, get though. another one free, but it's the audio edition. No, no, I'm, I'm in on the same course. That could actually be interesting. Yeah, that would work really well. Well, we would have to write it around that, but 
okay, this is just me thinking live. Like, don't, no, not promise. <laughs> um, I will interject really quickly, though, that um, what we what we don't want to get across this evening is that Yan is back and content will be here next week. That's not the that's not the aim of the thing. It's more Yan's back. We, you know, we want to say I, I'm trying to be back. Yes, like I'm not John Wick yet, but <laughs> I I am sick of being sick. Um, mostly because the issues I'm facing. How to talk about this without getting glib? Um, I, I don't actually know what glib don't means. care about how it affects me because that's where my mind is at right now. Like, mm. don't care. However, it's hurting other people, and I'm not okay with that. It, it's hurting my friends. It's hurting the people I love, um, and it's hurting my students. Like they, they want the content. Some of which they've already paid for. Some of which they just excited for. And I haven't been able to do anything for a while, and it's it's good to get out of that. Um, and I do feel it's important to talk about to a degree because stigmatizing mental health helps nobody. Mm. But I also don't want to labor the point. Like, this isn't a pity party and this isn't Yan's back. Like, there is a middle ground that we're trying to find here. I don't know how well we're doing it, but we're trying to find it. We're doing something, right? That's that. I think that's key more than anything yeah. else on that front. So. And Mikey's been fantastic. And my girlfriend, Jess, has been fantastic. I went to see her and her daughter over Christmas. Um, and spending Christmas with a 10-year-old is amazing especially as my family christmases are not what i would call warm fuzzy memories so like going there just like waking up at six in the morning sneaking out to to make coffee for my girlfriend turning around and there's excited 10 year old girl going can i wake her up now <laughs> like, <laughs> i will take in the coffee <laughs> yeah. uh, that was a really nice thing and I, it, it, the way i usually put it is i'd like to be a real boy again like when my mind works i am supremely confident I mean, I got myself a green card and an apartment in the Upper East Side of Manhattan. You know, like, when my mind works, I, I am functional. But right now, I haven't felt that way in a while. I'm trying to get back to that position. So, that's where we are. Um, Course-wise, I wanted to go straight into the RPG. And Mikey pointed out, actually, we should probably start with God for Everyone for a couple of reasons. Um, one, there's it's an easier course to start so it's probably a better place psychologically to get into like yeah. going immediately to a difficult course and getting stuck is a great way of going i can't do this Mikey. it was we're, we're trying best to set you up to win right not right we want real expert realistic tasks and expectations yeah. um and two it's 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 a beginner part of a course i should really have this thing out there like people are expecting that i yeah. do have I, I do want to get onto the rpg but i think starting the next part of the god of everyone course is is important uh space invadux was a lot of fun um and i'd like to get on to to the next bit yeah i think it's spooky bricks have i done spooky yeah bricks? yes I'm really yeah spooky bricks is the uh next one there which is the bat ball game like akinoid acronoid acronoid breakout <laughs> get there eventually i'm yeah. not good with words although i'm good at making words up so yeah, we, we 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 have strategies to try and make this realistic. Mm -hmm. um, also, like setting small time frames as opposed to like straight back into nine to five, because realistically, that's not yeah. going to happen. Um, for those of you who are interested, uh, or that's not necessarily the right word. For those of you who feel you need to know, the diagnoses I have are chronic depression and suspected PTSD, but we're waiting on a specialist to be able to give me that. Um, which is interesting because it means I, I translate any stress as a direct attack, which is very difficult when you're trying to deal with deadlines. Like it's easy to get yourself into a panic situation and just freeze. Mm -hmm. So that's the bit I'm trying to teach myself to get out of. Anyway, 